Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I will explain how to connect Redis to N8N. This connection allows you to use Redis as a data store or catching layer within your workflows. You need to have N8N already installed and running and you also need access to a Redis server. Redis can be hosted locally in a Docker container or on a cloud platform. To begin, open the N8N interface and go to the settings by clicking on the gear icon. Then, navigate to the Credentials section. Click on the button to add a new credential and select Redis from the list of available services. A form will appear with several fields you need to fill in. These fields are labelled Password, User, Host, Port and Database Number. There is also a note next to the user field that says to leave it blank for password-only authentication. In the password field, enter your Redis password if your server requires one. If it doesn't, you can leave this field empty. For the user field, you should also leave it empty unless your Redis server uses user-based authentication. In most common setups, only a password is required and the user field is not needed. For the host field, Enter the address of your Redis server. If you are running Redis locally, type localhost. If Redis is on another machine or in the cloud, enter the IP address or domain name of that server. The port field should be set to 6379, which is the default port for Redis unless it has been changed in your configuration. In the database number field, Enter zero unless you know that your Redis server is using a different database number. By default, Redis starts with database zero, and that is usually fine for most use cases. To confirm that the data was stored successfully, add another Redis node to the same workflow. Choose the get operation this time. Enter the same key that you used earlier. Run this node and you should see the value hello world returned in the output. This means the connection to Redis is working and data can be stored and retrieved properly. You can now use Redis in your workflows to cache results, queue data between executions or manage state between different parts of your automation. If the connection fails, double check the host and port, make sure Redis is running and confirm that the password and user fields are correct. Also, ensure your Redis server is configured to accept connections from your N8N environment. This is how you connect Redis to N8N and use it to manage data in your workflows.